Hi everyone. In this video, let's try to deploy policies, uh, Azure policies using Terraform. And uh, let's understand what we are trying to do. We are trying to build an application architecture where we have deployed previously the application gateway, the vnets and the subnets and the servers and in different zones and we did a vnet peering and all that. Now, uh, we also have enabled the update management solution in the previous videos if you can watch the playlist uh, we can actually understand that now in this video we are going to deal deal with azure policy how does policy actually play a huge role in azure they help in terms of governance so they when we wanted uh, a specific uh, when we have huge number of resources in a subscription we wanted so and so or we have the subscription access to a lot of users we want some governance to be set in place or rules to be set in place and for that point of view we use azure policy as a major uh, solution for it because it's a cost uh, it's a cost uh, it's a cost free solution it's in, uh, and uh, it is very easy to ensure that we can uh, develop the policies uh, we can set up the rules and all that using policies so in this, when we go into policy section, there are two major things. There is a built-in policy and there's a custom policy. What does a built-in policy means that Microsoft has already developed a uh, few policies, governance rules, which you can use it for your subscription, or you can you build your own custom rules or policies, uh, which we say custom. So there are two types, which is one is uh, built-in and the other one is uh, custom and here we are seeing built-in in the next video we'll try to deploy a custom policy and all that but at this point of time let's deploy a uh, built-in policy and how do we assign it and everything so we're considering a sample policy here so i have virtual machines in this uh, application and i want all these machines to have anti-malware solution in place now when I want anti-malware solution in place, what should I do? So what is an anti-malware solution? It actually helps in terms of detecting any malware threats and all that. So Azure is offering a solution called anti-malware protection extension. And I want that extension to be in place for every virtual machine which is there in a subscription. And that for reason, uh, if we see anti malware so related to anti malware i could actually find the following uh, policies and there is a uh, few will be automatically deploying so deploy a default is solutions for a windows servers or just go and check whether there's an anti malware solution extension which is deployed on windows server or not and if I click on that, so these are the policy definitions. And uh, if you are assigning it to the subscription or resource group level or resource level, you can find it under SNMS. And now here, if I check one of the policy, now here the description says that this policy audits any Windows Server VMs, virtual machines, without IAS extension deployed. So it actually checks and uh, points us out that this so, so and so specific Windows Server VMs are not been having uh, anti malware extension deployed so this is what we write it on json and as of now already microsoft has built this and so we are not going to actually write this json values and everything for the next video but we'll definitely write a policy where uh, which can meet the custom requirements and everything now in this requirements it is going and checking as an example point of view every uh, policy just has this following things a uh, properties Okay, and ID of the uh, policy and the type of the uh, what is the type of the resource type and uh, uh, the name of the policy so if I go here and check the dis uh, the display name it was mentioning that Microsoft and IES anti malware should be deployed on Windows Server and uh, now in this uh, we could actually see these are the parameters and this is the policy rule so policy rule is the main logic of it no policy rule it is trying to say that if if so and so is being a condition has been met then do this so and so that's what is there so here if you see 
not do then do this it was meant to say that if it is meet the condition then go and check this thing so let's go and see the policy rule what it has been written here it is trying to say that check every virtual machine a resource type which is a virtual machine in that the publisher is a Win microsoft windows server and in that the image is windows server offering uh, the image offer is a windows server and so and so type of os either 2018 or 2008 r2 or 2012 uh, data center or 2016 data center or 2019 data center so following the uh, virtual machines have to be checked and uh, if those are this virtual, virtual machines and in each of the virtual machines we have to go and check the extensions do we have an is anti malware extension in place or not if it is having an anti malware extension with so and so publisher then it is fine otherwise it is going to say that that particular virtual machine which is a windows server is uh, is not compliant and that's what we wanted and let's assign this policy so if we wanted that data whether the it has uh, this policy should be live in subscription that we call it as assignment so when we wanted this to be applied to a subscription level how do we do that using terraform now i'll go to google and i'll do terraform azure policy assignment so assignment is assigning the policy to it So this is where the trick it this get trick here we can assign it the policy to a resource or to a resource group level or to a subscription level so i wanted to assign it to a subscription level so there are three different resources for that one is resource group and one is resource and one is subscription level and as i'm uh, placing it for a subscription level i will use this resource azure rm subscription policy assignment and i'll create a text file and I'll paste it here and I'll name this as Terra policy and I'm going to say that audit windows VMs uh, IS anti malware solution extension or not solution extension and the policy definition so i have to get uh, which policy definition am i assigning i am assigning this policy decision uh, how do the terraform gets to know i have to pull that data now with subscription i wanted to get uh, i wanted to get my existing subscription and that one is this i can use this so this will get the existing current subscription data and uh, I also need to pull the data of the policy definition so how do I get it I can copy this and I can even search here and look for Azure policy definition data sources not the I'm not creating it I'm pulling the existing one so Azure policy definition so this is the way we can actually pull that policy definition and the display name of the policy what is the display name of the policy if i go into the policy and if i check the display name of the policy this is the one and once this is there i have to just copy this place it here azure rm policy and it is this should be references terra policy and even this one terra policy so we are assigning this so and so policy which is a built-in policy to the subscription level and once we assign it we can actually see validate whichever the vms are having an anti-malware solution or not so let me go and save this as policy.tf and i'll save it under all files and i'll go to the uh, shell I will have to copy this location and I got this I'll clear this and now I'll do a terraform validate to actually check 
the syntax as per syntax and i also want to check whether the policy.tf is there or not and it is there and then now i'll do a terraform plan and check whether the it's if it is working as per as we expected Now we could see that the telephone plan has been completed and if I look for uh, Azure RM policy S element we could actually see that and I could actually find that uh, let me search that and we will actually find it here Azure RM subscription policy as element and uh, so and so policy uh, if you look at the policy definition ID we can actually just cross verify whether it is the one so it is the last one is double six two five seven and if I go into the policy the policy ID is double six two five seven so that's a policy which will be applied at the subscription level once it is an applied what will happen if we go into the policy and check the essay elements just for a cross reference how does a policy definition will look like as uh, is what we are trying to look at and uh, here view compliance so this is how we can actually check which is compliant and which is not compliant and all that so if it has if it will list uh, if we go into that uh, policy compliance it will show that which resources are there which are showing as not compliant and everything now here from this policy which we are trying to deploy it is going to list all the windows virtual machines and to tell that whether it's a compliant or not compliant from that so in the next video we will try to deploy a custom policy uh, and uh, so stay tuned for it thank you